At the beginning of mankind, we did everything to obtain food. We have since passed through many different eras to arrive at farming. In Sri Lanka, rice paddy cultivation was given a high priority and a good irrigation system established. In ancient times, it was said that Sri Lanka was the paddy store of the East. There is a close interrelationship between paddy cultivation and the Sri Lankan community life. Paddy farmers experience many environmental and financial problems, but generation to generation they continue paddy cultivation with traditional technology. मिचम <laughs> We have to carry on this life because paddy cultivation is the only option. We have suffered from drought and rain and many environmental problems. We have tried to apply new technologies, but ultimately, these haven't generated good results. We are trapped in a cycle of dependency with chemical companies using a lot of fertilizers and pesticides. We have to find an innovative technology to help us confront the global food crisis in the future. This, this is the time, is the time to, come to come out of the darkness. Of the darkness. System of Rice Intensification 3. Eco-Friendly Organic Technique of Rice Cultivation हाँ और ये और मुरेता संजय रसायन का पसले उन्नु पाव गया ना वायल सेरिंग है और ना लम में बड़ी वायल सेरिंग है हाँ ना आरे वाला मुड़ी जाओ ना तो सिरी मुरे लिए वायल सेरिंग होना आफ्टर द फर्स्ट प्लावेन we apply simple methods to increase the organic materials in the plot. We first dig pits in the four corners of the plot and fill these with a mixture of straw, green leaves, cow dung and compost. These pits remain until the second plowing. We have also to prepare a number of liquid fertilizer pits in the field. The third method increases the presence of earthworms. Cow dung is placed on top of straw bundles in the field. 
This technique increases the number of earthworms in the surrounding area. A low water level in the paddy field has to be maintained. One reason for this is to limit any seepage of organic fertilizer. The other is that a low water level controls the methane gas level. Before the second plowing, the four compost pits are removed and the compost is mixed through the soil. When farming organically, the paddy land has to be prepared one month before planting. Day to day, the price of chemical fertilizer is increasing. SRI is a good solution to address this challenge. Charcoal paddy husk has a lot of nourishing silica. The real practical solution is to apply this three method. When we prepare nurseries, we need good quality seeds. The salt water method is used to identify good quality seed. The seeds are placed into the salt water and the good seeds sink to the bottom. To assist germination, the seeds are kept under a covered place. We cover the seeds only with the natural materials like leaves. We don't use plastic covers or bags. This is what's special about Sri. Magevi, bitteravi, honda pirusudu bitteravi. As a group, these women and men are sharing their experiences cultivating Sri and discussing how Sri methods protect future food security. Experienced field instructors are in their local areas to share information and technology in Sri paddy cultivation. This is a good opportunity for Sri farmers. The nursery is prepared one day before planting. Sri nurseries are unique. The soil is raised so that it is not flooded by water. To control the amount of soil pathogens such as mold and fungus, soil from beneath trees like jackfruit is mixed with the nursery soil. To control light exposure, 
a layer of straw is placed on top of the nursery bed. This is a non-conventional method for replanting the seedlings. A wooden fork is used to mark out the planting rows in the field. If the plot does not have straight boundaries, we start from the center and demark it outwards. This is an ideal nursery for Sri Paddy cultivation. In the Sri method, we have to put special attention to removing and transporting the seedlings. This is the conventional approach. With Sri, we don't touch the middle of the seedling, nor do we wash the root system in the water and we don't bind seedlings in bunches as it's harmful to the plant. Seedlings used to be removed this way to thin them out. Now we are removing them carefully, like this, to improve the growth of the seedlings. When planting, care has to be taken in collecting and transporting the seedlings from the nursery. The seedlings are planted in the intersections of the marked lines and mud is pinched to properly surround the seedling. This is another special technique used in tree planting. Normally in the conventional planting method, people move backwards. In tree, we plant...